great thing about maths is that anything that comes up on paper one generally isn't going to come up on paper two. So we can take topics that are on paper one and say they're probably not going to come up again. And what I've got for you is a list of 10 topics that I fancy for paper two. So we've got a bit of time before paper two. So you can still spend lots and lots of time revising. So the first one is, well, probably going to be a bit of an obvious one, triangles. We know triangles come up in so many different ways. So I'd like you to look at all the things relating to triangles. So you're getting comfortable with your Pythagoras, your sine rule, your cosine rule, and all of the trick equations, how we can work with all of those. The next one I'd like you to look at is percentages. So you know, compound interest, converting a fraction to a percentage, percentage increase, percentage decrease, or converting things from one to another. Algebra is another big topic, as it is every single year. So, so with equations, using brackets, taking things out of brackets, putting things into brackets, um, and then using all of those to substitute and solve equations as well. Iteration is another topic that is going to be worth, when it comes up, with lots and lots of marks. Another thing I'd like you to look at is circles, including circle theorem. So everything to do with circles, with your definitions, all of your angles that you need to know, and then include circle theorem in that as well. So proportion, so direct and inverse proportion, and then all of your stats graphs, so your, your histograms, your tree diagrams, and um, your Venn diagrams, cumulative frequency plots. Getting familiar with all of those graphs is gonna be a really, really useful thing. So how can we draw them? How can we interpret them? Um, what if it show if it looks like this? What does this mean? So a topic that is frequently in a wordy question, which I know lots of you really don't like, is ratios. So interpreting the, the wordiness, the context of it, and then sharing into a ratio as well. So for probability, probability of events. So if this happens, what is the probability of this happening? Um, and then like relative pro probability as well. And then the one that's a crossover with physics is distance time and velocity time graphs. Um, so look what do the axes mean, what do the lines mean, you know, what do the slope mean, the flat bit, and then the area under that as well. We still have lots of time for paper two, so there's no need for you to, to panic, no need for you to worry. Um, but just take your time, remember you should revise everything, but if you want a list of things, there is a list of things for you. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.